Hey guys, so um, we are gonna go to Hobby Lobby, or we're at Hobby Lobby, and we're gonna look for some things to um, make my vision board for 2021. Um, I never done one, so I don't know what I'm looking for or what I want to do or how I want to design it or, you know, whatever. I might just keep it like super simple. So yeah, let's go in and see what we find. All right, you guys. So we're here, the little paper section. Um, let's see what we find. Ooh, they like a good deal. Oh, look at this, you guys. Guess what? That looks like <laughs> that print from the fabric. They have it in paper. I'm sorry if I sound a little muted. You got like a mask on, but definitely gonna take that one up. So I've been really feeling like gold. So, <gasps> Ooh, look at this one. Yes. Definitely grabbing this one. All right, sticking with the gold. Got this one, guys. Beautiful. So I'm not really gonna put it as like the entire background. I'm just gonna put like a, if it was to be like a border, I guess, around like certain sayings or pictures and stuff. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, this one's pretty too. But yeah. So let's continue the look. So sorry I look crazy. Um, this mask is a little big, so that's why I have two masks on. <laughs> I don't normally put two masks on, but you guys. Okay, so I know a lot of y'all use like a soap lap type of situation. Um, I don't know where you get it from, but I just saw this. So I'm thinking like you can just do like a little quick makeshift like paper type of like background for your pictures. That'd be a cool idea. They also have like a gray and a black. Um, they also have a brick. That's the one I want. I want the brick one, but the bricks are like really, really tiny. So, yeah, I guess I just have to wait to see if I can find a bigger brick print. And this is why I spend way too much time in my lobby because I can never figure out what I want. Too many options. Like on top of a tutu. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. For that uh, deer one, would look really pretty. The one with the that same fabric with this print with the little deer the tutu could be like a nice little like pale pink or something and put some like flowers on top of the tutu i think that would look really pretty oh i'm kind of sad i was hoping i could find like a thank you stamp to put on my like packages they're all gone i don't think i've ever seen like stamps just empty <laughs> that's cute do you see that thanks a lot day <laughs> oh look at this that's really cool and I like how it says just like bye and then you can put um, your name in there this one's also nice handmade with love I really like these I really want to get one Kindness enclosed. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, can we talk about this little 
<laughs> frog. But I honestly just wanted something that said thank you. Like that one maybe. This one's cute. It's okay. Hey everyone, so this is what it looks like so far. Um, I did everything written out by hand because um, I was printing out pictures and I realized that my printer didn't have any ink. So we're missing pictures. <laughs> and um, yeah, I didn't want to go out again to go get some ink. So I did everything by hand. I kind of like it a little bit more only because I wrote it. So it makes it a little bit more, I guess, like personal. Um, I found these. Uh, what paper like um scrapbook paper at hobby lobby as you saw and i found this one that looks like the um fabric that i bought that i like really 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 love um so i was kind of excited that i found it um and then also loving this map i can't take it i love the little like gold reflex that it has on it it's pretty awesome I don't know what it is. I'm into gold right now and like black <laughs> and white, obviously. So, um, but yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Again, still need pictures. So I guess we'll do that next. Hey guys, so it's like the next day. I look like crap. Don't come for me. Um, so I ordered the business cards and um, we're going to go get them right now um, from FedEx. Um, funny thing is, is that I got my business logo, <laughs> like, a day after I ordered them. So I'm kind of, like, bummed out about it, but it's going to work. It's fine. I'm super excited, though, that I now have, um, a business logo. Well, a new one. I had one, but since I changed my name and everything, um, I didn't have one. So, yeah, kind of excited. After that, you might go pick up some coffee because we need coffee, okay? <laughs> but yeah, let's go. All right, you guys. So I opened it up, but um, yeah, I made them black. I don't know why I'm like so into the black ones. Like, I think they look so cool and it has purple. Um, it's my favorite color. So yeah, with some purple in it. And the back is like really simple it just says like my actual name and you know just like all my social media and my email so that's exciting so that's that yay now okay let's go get some coffee thank you what we got let's guess what we got we're gonna wake up yes sir mm. Mm -mm. yes Okay, so I know this is like bad angles and whatnot, but I don't have something like a stand for a car. So y'all are just like on like the sock pocket little thing. But anyways, so I'm a huge Starbucks girl, okay? Like I'm all Starbucks. But the price of this big old coffee Can't tell me nothing, boy. I'll go to Dunkin' Donuts any time of the day just for that price. But still Starbucks, girl. But a girl is also not on a budget. <laughs> but yeah. How are we gonna be like, why'd you buy coffee? We have coffee at home. I don't feel like making coffee, okay? I'd rather drive. I know it sounds kind of weird because you know, like it's probably less time consuming and easier for you to just 
make coffee at home than it is to go get in your car well, i was already in my car i had to go out anyways but you know what i mean and drive to a coffee shop to get coffee and you have to wait in line and everything but in my head i'm just like but it's already made like i don't have to make it like i just have to drive there and get it you know mm. this stuff is good mm. but anyways we're gonna get home and then we are going to fix his face because lord knows we still look sleepy in a hot mess um and yeah gotta finish the, phys the vision board though um it's basically finished i might just show y'all um i still have to like print out pictures and stuff but the pictures can come as the days come or go on because i don't know exactly how i want to or what pictures i want i guess um, how to portray the things that I want to get to or accomplish in 2021. So, yeah. I might just show y'all a half <laughs> ready vision board. Um, I like the way it turned out. I like think it's like really, really cute. I found a cork book. I know that sounded like really run on. But um, I found a cork board that I used for my son's first birthday. Um, I used it for his pictures for like the first of everything so like his first easter christmas his first tooth his first visit to the zoo his first time meeting uh my grandma his great grandma um on both sides so you know just like a board of firsts for him so i found that and he had basically destroyed it so he took off all the pictures and stuff so i used that for uh my vision board but i had originally just bought like a poster board but um yeah so i might just show y'all that today i don't think i want to go another day without posting it i feel like it's going to be too far into like the year or the week or the first week of the year i don't know it just feels like i should have done it like and posted it january 1st you know um but i just like i said i wanted to print out pictures but yeah i don't know I don't even know what kind of pictures I want to put on there. Like, I have too many... Y'all ever have that? Like, you have so many ideas and you don't know where to get started, you know? Like, you just don't know how to lay things out or what direction you want to go in or... You, I don't know. Just too many ideas. So, I haven't just narrowed it down to one. But, yeah. We are almost home. So, yeah. Catch y'all there. Hey, guys. So, we made it back home. Um... I'm gonna do my face because yeah <laughs> um it's gonna be really 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 simple um no lashes no nothing basically just like foundation um always eyeliner though always gotta do the eyeliner for me um so I got like a little bit of allergies no rona over here okay just allergies allergies <laughs> have you ever seen that um wasn't on tiktok that i saw it they have like a they did a video a tiktok they did a tiktok and they're like uh telling their kids like if you sneeze or something happens like just say it's allergies like repeat after me ah and then the child would repeat lur geez and then she'd be like coronavirus <laughs> but anyways i'll just say so i use this for my eyebrows um i know that i mentioned it in my last video when i was doing my makeup um it was a time lapse and it was a voiceover, but it's Anastasia. Or the color is chocolate. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it. Come on, focus. Whatever. It's called chocolate, okay? Um, I know that a lot of people don't like the way I do my eyebrows. Um, a lot of people are more like uh, feathery, light, you know, not look like they're sharpied on and like faded in the front. Apparently, that's like from like 2018, 2019, but um, that's just how I like the way my eyebrows look. So don't come for me, okay? I like it like that. It's my style, my thing. That's all that matters, right? So, yeah, we're gonna get started. Okay, so here it is not me not even nothing like it i just on okay 
and then um if i feel like i need more or something i just go back and put some more in um sometimes i make them thicker than what i actually want them to because i um clean them up with concealer or like um the mac uh paint pot and you know i just clean them up shape them however i want to shape them and then uh at the end of everything like i um get like this little brush right here and put some maybe like this bronzer or i even get like the lighter uh bronzer or powder um whatever whatever i feel like that day and just boop, fade it out in the front um and then with the foundation it like cleans it up in the middle i'm not no beauty guru i'm just saying what i use because i don't know if there's somebody out there who wants to know how i do my face not that anybody has asked me but sometimes i'm curious and i don't ask i'm like the silent person i'm always silent on everybody's videos or lives or whatever people will go live or you know whatever i'll be like hey and then I like <laughs> hide in the background so but this one is called paintly painterly sorry um paint pot from mac um usually i just use this to put like on my actual lids and then i go in with um cover fx concealer on the top um, we're gonna do that but first we are going to carve out these eyebrows so they don't look crazy for the rest of the video so i just want to quickly talk about like my channel um i know i have a lot of people on here from like my discord or not my discord Adelaida's discord um she has a youtube channel too it's little alessia cole um so if you want to go check her out she's really cool um what i want to do on my channel is no vlogs um things that i actually do it's not going to be just focused on embroidery and like my little business and whatnot. So it's going to be like day in the life. You're going to follow me along wherever I go, um, my adventures, my travel. Um, if I do have embroidery to do, which is probably be like a little bit here and there in each of my videos. Um, you know whatever i sew masks if i find something else to do um oh and i'm getting a serger so i might do more stuff with that so it's gonna be a lot of different things so just so people know and not just expect like embroidery or some kind of craft um in my videos every time i upload so just want to let you know just wanted to put that out there so that people don't have like this expectation of my youtube you know so yeah anyways i'm talking too much i'm sorry i'm gonna do these eyebrows that's what we look like so like i was talking about earlier um okay i didn't even blend out these things but again i'm not going anywhere so it doesn't even matter but yeah, what you would do is just like kind of blend it out, make sure they look nice, square. Still, I like my square. Um, you do you, however you want to do it. But I'm not going anywhere, so I don't care. But um, anyways, um, I did my vision board. It's not done, but it's done. Um, I just need to add pictures to it. And um, again, like I said earlier in the video, I don't know what kind of pictures I want to put in there because I want it to like make sense and I also want it to be personal like I don't necessarily just want everything to be off of Google that's just me no shade to anybody who did that um that's just you know so my idea was like finding pictures of um me my family you know extended family on vacation um for my travel section and just you know kind of say that that's what I want you know I want a family vacation like I want to go xyz places and um yeah I also want to buy like a map of the United States and because I, I want to go visit all 50 states um so just like as um time goes on if I do go visit these places like you know take pictures 
of the sign or you know a specific like place of that state that says hey this is where it is and just like cut it out to the shape of the state and put it on there um but anyways i want to take a picture of us or ha find a picture of us of my family somewhere um on vacation and put it on there and i want to kind of just find pictures like that you know like me and my lowest point um because i do suffer from depression and anxiety so i mean i feel like who doesn't but you know whatever and i want to find a picture of me at my lowest point put it up there and then me you know six months from now see if i get better you know like or my progress my you know because i want to work on that like i don't want to be depressed or you know whatever my worries are i don't want them to be basically ruling i don't know what the word is but you know driving my life basically so i just want more personal pictures i guess if that makes sense i don't know if I, what i'm saying is making sense but i hope you get the point um so that's what that's why i haven't posted pictures um obviously for things like getting a multi-needle i don't have a multi-needle so i have to get that off of google um but i might just print out pictures of me actually getting my first machine my second machine and then um you know a picture of a multi-needle that i want um and you know just put that up there as a goal you know so basically like seeing where i started my goal and then me getting it you know somewhere down the line if i do get it before the end of the year then you know i'll put it up there and be like you know check mark next to it or i don't know something to just say like hey we made it or we did it so um yeah hope that makes sense um but anyways other thing i don't know if some of you ladies know if you heard me on discord or my past videos or my live um i am planning to go to houston to do like a pop-up i bought a tent and i have a table um if anybody has any ideas i know some ladies did give me ideas um with square that's the name of it square um basically it's like a a card scanner that you connect to your phone and you set it up and whatnot that's a very good idea um i did look into it so there's that but and then another lady i forgot the names i'm sorry i'm still terrible at names i have to work at it but another lady wonderful lady showed me how she set up her pop-up when she did an event um so i'm just like whatever ideas that anybody has please let me know in the comments below anything anything helps okay like I'm open to all suggestions. I'm a little nervous, um, only because like I don't want to be like a waste of money, mostly not necessarily time. Because I know anything that you do is like good for business. You know, you go out there, you put yourself out there, and people like know about you. You know, business cards and whatnot. So not necessarily that they actually buy at that moment, but at least they know about you. You know, so if they need something, like they, you know reach out look for you look you up whatever so that's not the, my worry my worry is more of like you know we got the tent we're going over there we're gonna stay there for two days because it's two day event so saturday sunday coming back food all that stuff so it's just kind of like i just hope it kind of pays off um also because my shop is really dead okay really really dead <laughs> um i went on i know some of the ladies know this but for whoever doesn't know this i went to arizona for um like for thanksgiving um and during that time i put my shop on vacation and on vacation mode so since then like mind you at that point i was getting like at least two orders a week you know it was starting to pick up but after putting on vacation mode um dead okay basically murdered my shop um haven't received an order since so maybe like a week before thanksgiving today is what january 4th still haven't gotten an, an order okay dead 
fam dead so we struggling out here in these parts okay so hopefully this pop-up will kind of you know spruce things up but yeah So we're outside, right? Playing, having fun. My son decides to back up the truck, the monster truck, into my camera on the stand with no case, and now it's cracked on the corner. Fun, yay! <sighs> Whatever, right? Not a big deal. Well, I mean, it is a big deal, but I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It's also my fault because, you know, I put it out there and whatever. Lesson learned, right? But then he's playing which is fine great dandy then he starts to back up and he bumps into the camera again this time it didn't crack but still when i say the frustration i mean i couldn't get mad again my fault it feels like my fault but you know whatever still kind of frustrating because now my phone has a crack on the screen yay oh. We love a good crack. Yes. But anyways, it was fun playing outside. Um, he loves those monster trucks. He doesn't quite know how to play with them yet, but learning. Baby! You want to tell people what you did? Tell me. You want to tell the people? Tell the people what you did, baby. I do not tell you on me like trying to put something on YouTube. Y'all just say we don't tell nobody of this. Tell the people what you did. I ain't no shit. Tell the people what you did, baby. <laughs> so see, what it happened was he don't want me to tell tell nobody. He wants to keep it a secret, so I'll keep it a secret. But just know <laughs> that it's kind of funny and kind of very, very, very tragic. <laughs> but anyways, I got rid of my <laughs> embroidery machine. Yay! <laughs> right, baby. Yeah, and it was it was successful. All the way successful. It was all the way successful. Nothing happened out of the ordinary. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Smooth sailing, you guys. Smooth sailing. <laughs> Puppy. Build a tower. What happened? We're not gonna talk about it. But anyhow, I'm like super excited because tomorrow I get my surgery. It's a, add it to the collection yeah. over here. And y'all saw that big old mess in my room, so don't judge me. Just, we're not gonna talk about that either. All right, so that's what it looks like right now. And that's what it's gonna stay looking like until I get pictures and I get some to cover this up. Um, so yeah. So yeah, you guys. Um, the vision board was not only for my business and what I want to accomplish in my business, but also just in like my personal life. Um, it still needs some stuff added, I think, but I just wanted to show y'all so y'all get the little gist of it and, um, you know, can see what I've been doing with it. Um, I know it doesn't look like much, but I did kind of take a while looking for um, like little quotes and stuff and kind of picking what is more, I don't know, in tune with me, I guess. Um, I didn't really want to just pick and choose different things just randomly. Um, I know that's, I don't know, this is my first vision board, so I don't really know how people do it or what exactly you're supposed to put on there, um, but, sorry. But yeah, um, other than that, like, that's basically what it looks like um i think i'm gonna end it here still got a couple things to do today but um i'm just gonna you know end the vlog and i will video or maybe i'll go live tomorrow um to unbox my uh surgery when i get it and mind you it might be really short and sweet because i have no idea what 
to do with it <laughs> like how to set it up or anything like that so i guess we'll be learning together um and yeah i think that's it i hope y'all enjoyed the video i'll catch y'all tomorrow um to see the surgery together i'm so excited <gasps> Jeez, but um yeah and then um i cannot wait for these so long videos all in bro all in anyways let me just stop with the excitement surgery tomorrow probably do a live most likely if not probably just do a video um and yeah i'll catch you on the next one bye guys